white wine, herbs, mushrooms, thickened with a tiny bit of butter. Today we're going to make a classic chicken with chassis sauce, or hunter sauce. As the name suggests, the sauce goes very well with all sorts of light meat game. But today we're using high quality organic chicken. So let's begin. The first step is to remove the wishbone. You can find it with your thumb and then take a sharp knife and carve around it. It comes right out. This is important for the next step. So what we're going for here is to remove the breast with a bit of the wing still attached. This is called a suprême de volaille. So here comes the wishbone, it just pops right out. So we're going to remove the legs for another recipe, just pop them out of the sockets and then we'll just cut them right out. Just take your knife and cut through the skin and then find where the bone is, pop it right out. And now remove the breast like you would normally. Now cut off the end of the wing. And now we're going to cut around the base of the wing, leaving a tiny bit of meat attached to the breast. And we're going to save the rest of this meat for another recipe. Work your way around, and now we're going to clean the bone. Scrape as much as you can off, take a sharp pair of scissors, and then cut the end off. This is not 100% necessary, but it does look nice and clean. So now we're going to start our sauce. So now we're going to take a warm pan, not a hot pan. We're going to put a bit of oil and mushrooms, salt. Now we want these mushrooms to be lightly cooked. We're going to throw in a bay leaf, some garlic and onions, and we're going to sweat this with no color. So at this point, the mushrooms should be cooked. Remove them, put them aside. Now take a hot pan, and now we're going to add a tiny bit of Madeira. And if you don't have Madeira, you can use brandy or just substitute more wine. And now we're going to add some dry white wine, about one glass worth. We're going to let this reduce by half. So it should look like this. And now we're going to put in a tiny bit of chicken consomme, or chicken stock. And we're going to reduce again by half. Notice how we are reducing slowly. If it was a rolling boil, this would be cloudy. So this is what we're looking for. Take the sauce and put it aside. And now we're going to cook our chicken. Generously season on the skin side with salt. Take a hot pan, oil. Distribute the oil evenly across the pan. Wait for the oil to heat up a little bit. And now place the chicken skin side down. So we want to render the fat out of the chicken skin. We want it to be light brown and crispy. And now we're going to flip it. Add some butter, some herbs and some garlic. And we're going to finish the chicken by basting like this. This will help the chicken breast cook faster, stay moist, and have a nice color. Once the chicken breast gets firm, use a skewer, insert, leave for a few seconds, and it should be warm on the inside. Then remove from the pan, add a tiny bit of black pepper, and put aside to rest for a few minutes, covered with aluminum foil or butter paper. So now we're going to finish the sauce. We've moved the contents from the large pan into a small saucepan, and we're going to whisk in some butter. Keep the sauce on low heat, whisk in about two or three pieces of butter that size, and once the sauce has thickened up a little bit, you can add the mushrooms, and then we're going to heat up the sauce gently. So traditionally, this is a very light sauce. So we can see here, it's just thick enough to coat the back of the spoon. That's the perfect consistency for the sauce. If you prefer thicker sauces, you can add a roux or some flour, but this is how it should be served. Adjust the seasoning with some salt and white pepper. And now we're going to add our herbs, chives, tarragon, and flat leaf parsley. So now we're ready for plating. So we're going to scatter the mushrooms around first, and we're going to drizzle the sauce over the chicken. Drizzle a little bit of sauce over the chicken, but most of it should be around the chicken. This will keep the skin crispy, and you're ready to serve. Enjoy this on its own like this, or with some green beans and potatoes, anything you want. This dish is absolutely delicious. You should give it a try sometime. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.